Okay, we are going to align scan data to a coordinate system in Fusion 360. You can see that my scan data is at some odd angle compared to my origin, which is right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we are in the sculpt environment and we do not have um, capture design history turned on. Uh, that's important um, because first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a plane on this surface. We're going to create two lines that intersect that plane. So our plane is our A datum. These two lines are going to form another plane. That's our B datum. And then one of those lines can be our C datum. Um, so that's how we're going to align it to a coordinate system. I'm going to go up to here, um, construct, do a three-point plane, a uh, plane through three points. And you see I get that little dot, so I can click one, two, three points. I've got my plane. I click OK. So now I'm going to do a sketch right on that plane. I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to make a three-point circle. Just kind of split the difference up that wall. I'm going to go over here. Do the same thing. Stop sketch. And then we're going to create two lines. That is, um, let me find it here. If it's axis perpendicular to face at point. So I'm going to choose the face of that circle and then that inner point. You can see we get a, uh, a line. So once again, I'm going to do axis perpendicular to face at point. I'm going to choose the face of that circle. I'm going to choose a line. Click OK. Um, and then finally, I'm going to construct one more plane uh, that's going to be plane through two edges. Select edge one, select edge two. And now we've got that plane. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, go to the align function. That's under modify here. You can do it in the sculpt workspace or you can do it in the, um, oh actually first. Now that I have all this geometry here, I'm going to take my mesh body and turn that into um, a component. So do create components from bodies. Um, and then I'm going to take all that construction geometry and I'm going to put that in that component so that it moves along uh, with it. I'm going to throw that sketch in there too. So now I've got my component. Um, now I'm going to do modify, align. So um, I'm going to say that I want to move components. So I'm going to move from our A plane to, let's see, my origin visibility is a little weird here. So our XY plane is this one. And if I turn my comp component back on, you can see that I'm perfectly aligned to that XY plane. Click OK. We're going to do that again. Modify, align, and then now I'm going to do that B datum plane. So I'm going to do, that's my from, and then now I'm going to select, uh, let's do the YZ plane. Click OK. Again, I think my scaling was weird, so I'm actually really zoomed out on, the, out on this model. That's why my origin looks weird. But it doesn't really affect what we're doing here. So you can say, you can see that uh, I'm, once again, perfectly aligned to that uh, YZ plane. And then we're going to do it one more time. So we've locked down two degrees of freedom. Now we're going to lock down that third degree of freedom. Uh, go back to align. So we're going to go from, just pick an axis, uh, whatever you want to be in the, the origin. Um, and then we're going to do that as our z-axis. So you can see, click OK. Now if I turn off all this construction geometry, you can see my coordinate system is right perfectly in that hole. So that's how you align scan data to the origin perfectly in Fusion 360.